Ihoa er Sawan Sha. My name is Darius, and this is the world that was. This weekend is the pre Christian Irish holiday of Sawan, celebrated more widely as Halloween. Due to my current circumstances, instead of a recipe this week, I'll be doing this instead. Pumpkins, of course, were not present in Ireland until well after the Columbian Exchange, but turnips are an indigenous vegetable here, and as such were carved for millennia before the introduction of the pumpkin, which is more widely used to create jack o' lanterns today. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin making a carved turnip, you, of course, need to start with the turnip. Try and get a very large one, as it'll be far more sturdy than a smaller one once fully carved. Cut the top off of the root bulb. Alternatively, you can cut off the base of the turnip and use the leaf bundle at the top as a handle. Either way, be extraordinarily careful when cutting into this. Turnips are notoriously difficult to cut easily. Plus, if you're careless, like I was earlier, the turnip can and will turn against you. When the top of your turnip has been taken off, start scoring the inside of your turnip with a knife, leaving about a finger's width of a wall. This will give it a bit of structure, as well as make it easier to carve a face later. You may find it easier to use a metal spoon instead of a knife when scraping the inside of your carved turnip. Use whichever is easiest for you, but try not to scrape more than your spoon can handle, as it can and will bend to the will of the turnip. When your turnip has been suitably hollowed out, you can now get to grips with gouging out its eyes and mouth. Traditionally, turnips were carved in the image of scowling faces, in an attempt to dissuade evil spirits present at Samhain. But of course, you're free to carve whatever you want these days. When the whole thing has been carved to your liking, place a lit candle inside and set it out somewhere for you to enjoy. Carving vegetables or fruit is found worldwide throughout various cultures and time periods. While the art of carving turnips for Halloween has fallen out of style due to the ease and hardiness of the pumpkin, turnips are still used around Samhain in some rural areas of Ireland, Scotland, and even Wales. The term jack-o'-lantern is, of course, an 18th century English name for these decorations. Unfortunately, we are unsure of what they were referred to in antiquity, but it was most likely just called a carved turnip. A simple name, but it does the job well enough. No matter what way you carve this, you're helping continue a long-lasting Irish autumn tradition. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at the world that was. Although it's different from my usual content, I figured it'd be a good glimpse back at the traditions of pre-Christian Ireland. If you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more actual ancient recipes. But if you want to support me directly, there's a link to my Patreon in the video description. Thank you again for watching.